New York Post, 18th of February 2023, Chinese Warfare, Tracing the Lethal Route of Fentanyl from China to Mexico to Overdose Deaths in America China is sending and smuggling drugs into North America as part of its battle against the United States to devastate the local population by turning them into drug addicts. According to the California Department of Health, fentanyl and other synthetic opioids caused more than 71,000 fatal overdoses in the United States in 2021. That sobering figure is accurate because fentanyl, frequently combined with heroin, cocaine, illicit Oxycontin and Xanax pills, is 50 times more potent than heroin and 100 times more powerful than morphine. In addition, it costs less to make than either of those medicines. U.S. Customs and Border Protection officers seized a record-breaking 14,700 pounds of fentanyl shipments from China in 2022, this year, 12,500 pounds have been taken. But even so, it only represents a small portion of what reaches the U.S. Here is how it travels from the other side of the globe to the principal streets of America. China to Mexico's West Shore in the first step Chinese chemists create powdered chemicals known as precursors that act as fentanyl's building elements, including 4-piperidone. Author of Fentanyl Incorporated, How Rogue Chemists Created the Deadliest Wave of the Opioid Epidemic, Ben Westhoff, claims that the Chinese laboratories uphold appearances of legitimacy and adhere to communist China's laws. However, the managers are aware that the substances are illegal elsewhere. When Westhoff visited Wuhan Laboratories, he told the Post, they showed me the fake packaging. They ship the precursors to Mexico, typically by sea, in boxes that appear to contain dog food. On Mexico's western coast, where cartels like Sinaloa and Jalisco New Generation fight for control of the ports, precursors coming by boat enter the country. Westhoff declared, there is so much dishonesty. A few hundred dollars may be sufficient to persuade law enforcement to turn a blind eye as chemicals are unloaded and transported to the cartel-controlled laboratories. Value per kilo approximation, $200. In northern Mexico, in phase two, illicit factories targeted the U.S. According to Congressman David Drawn, DMD, the laboratories tend to be in the north. They are now nearer the U.S. boundary as a result. The lab is a glorified term for what happens in Mexico, according to Sam Quinones, author of The Least of Us, True Tales of America and Hope in the Time of Fentanyl and Meth. It resembles an outdoor barbecue. This is not the Rubik's Cube of chemistry, you need some instruction. The drugs are pressed into pills that mimic pharmaceuticals or candy pellets after being diluted, combined with other compounds, and stored as a powder. Cooks use open flames and pots to brew the precursor powder outside, they wear masks and stand away from the activities to avoid breathing in fumes. Some people labor in pastures where cows hide them. Value per kilogram, approximately $3,000 to $5,000 depending on purity. Step 3, Going Across the Boundary Different Techniques Drug traffickers conceal their goods in vehicles loaded with produce or other goods and are headed for major U.S. cities like Los Angeles, Phoenix, Chicago, Atlanta, and New York. Imagine someone who travels to work across the border regularly. People occasionally aren't even aware that they are sneaking. The gang will make a small hole close to the location of the trunk latch, open the trunk, and stow drugs inside. The drugs will then be taken out of the vehicle when the person is at work, according to Westhoff. Blending in is made simpler by the traffic. Drawn stated, we have 200,000 border entries every day. Americans frequently operate the cars and are less likely to be pulled over. Value per kilogram approximation $20,000. Action 4, Drug Trafficking Hotspots in Cities The goal is to get to a drop-off location swiftly once over the border. For instance, before drugs reach New York, 
A stop is frequently near a Hudson River crossing, like the George Washington Bridge. A substantial load, perhaps 20 kilograms, is moved to a vehicle. It is brought into the metropolis by a driver. In that case, according to Bridget Brennan, who is in charge of the city's office of the special narcotics prosecutor, the trucker will meet up with a messenger in a plain-looking car. Value per kilogram approximation, $35,000. Phase 5, Drug Factories. According to Brennan, the mills are typically located in apartments in nondescript areas, you don't want it to be around a lot of criminal activity, adding that neighborhoods close to the Bronx Zoo are popular in the five boroughs. Air conditioning continuously circulates to clean the air. Sunglasses are lowered. As many as 12 packagers work 12-hour shifts and make an average of $800 per day packaging the drugs after mixing them with other substances. The animal tranquilizer xylazine is one thing they've started using lately, according to Brennan, who also noted that it slows breathing and is resistant to Narcan, which can revive people from opioid overdoses. The drugs are placed in glazine containers using tiny scoops. In a single day. A team of 12 can produce 100,000 glazines. The average amount of fentanyl in glazines is no more than 2 mg. A lethal dosage of fentanyl is 2 mg, according to the DEA. Size-wise, a milligram is equivalent to 10 to 20 salt granules. Value per kilogram approximation, $300,000. Step 6 from the streets to the distribution stores and user street peddlers. To pick up products in glassine envelopes, wholesalers can drive to a mill, meet midway, or even deliver it. According to Brennan, the mills are typically located in apartments in nondescript areas, you don't want it to be around a lot of criminal activity, adding that neighborhoods close to the Bronx Zoo are popular in the five boroughs. Air conditioning continuously circulates to clean the air. Sunglasses are lowered. The drugs now complete their lethal journey, reaching users who snort, shoot, or consume fentanyl orally. The drugs are distributed to street dealers who, on average, pay $8 per glassine nationwide. Each glassine retails for $3 to $5, depending on purity, and is packaged in quantities of 10 known as bundles, 50, known as bricks, or 100, known as sleeves. Dealers sometimes engage in the promotion. Brennan said, we had one man selling out of a McDonald's. The gilded arches were imprinted on his glassines. According to Raymond Tierney, the district attorney for Suffolk County, addicts, purchase packs of 10 if they can.